Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, guys, I'll share with you everything that you need to know about Terra 2.0. I'll briefly go over what has actually happened if you've already subscribed to our channel. I made a detailed video, 30 minutes, where I talk about how the crash happened, and more importantly, how I'm trading it and protecting our wealth. You can go watch that video. This video is going to be a lot more structured. Usually, my videos, I just talk about what's going on. This video is a bit more structured. Hopefully, it helps you understand Luna Terra 2.0. So I'll talk about what actually happened previously, how Luna and UST used to work and the death spiral. Then I'll talk about what the Duquan and Terra team are planning to do going forward. So what's the plan for Terra 2.0? With the information, you could decide whether you want to buy and hold or whether you want to dump all the air airdrop that you're getting i'll also go over uh, how the airdrop has happened so you could look to see how much you're expecting to get uh, also the vested luna as well i'll share with you my thoughts on terra 2.0 going forward could terra 2.0 succeed should you look to invest in it i'll also talk about the negatives as well as you guys know in the rockstar trading channel we talk about both the positives and the negatives then guys i'll share with you my thoughts so how what my plan is how i am going to uh, deal with terra 2.0 uh, and luna am i buying luna i'll share with you my plans and then finally guys i'll share with you it won't be a rockstar trading channel video unless i do a uh, technical analysis and price prediction so at the end of the video guys i'll do my technical analysis and price prediction for luna and also luna c which is luna classic so guys without further ado let's get into the video before i get into the video if you do enjoy this type of content do hit that like button and again if you do enjoy more structured videos so it takes a lot more time creating a presentation slide do hit the like button and let me know if you want me if you want me to create more content like this so guys let's get started so what is luna usd so again this this might be i'm repeating myself i've made lots of videos you know we've been trading luna since five dollars uh, but just to give you an overview so usd is what is known as an algorithmic stable coin it aims to carry out the function of stable coins like tether which tracks the price of usd but without any actual cash held in reserve to back it luna is the terrace protocol native staking token luna is used for governance and mining users stake luna to validate who, rec who record on verified transactions on the blockchain in exchange for rewards and transaction fees. So that's simple definitions. So how does a peg work? And this is what led to the lo huge Luna price pump. If you've got $100, you can burn one Luna and you should be able to mint $100. Uh, oops, that's not the right sign. $100 worth of USD stablecoin and vice versa. The model is des designed to even out supply and demand for UST when the price of UST is too high. Users are incentivized to burn Luna and create new UST, increasing the stablecoin supply whilst also decreasing the amount of Luna in circulation. The Luna becomes more scarce, which makes it more valuable, transferring that value into UST. When UST price is too low, oops, let me get rid of that. When UST price is too low, the reverse happens. UST gets burnt and Luna gets minted. And that should, in theory, help to st st stabilize the prices. So again, if you go watch that video, I talked about the reason why I'm so bullish on Luna and why I'm usually buying Luna. And that is because you can see in this chart, Luna is usually being burnt. Uh, when the opposite happens and the UST price is too low, you mint Luna. And if you go again, I'm not going to go into that video again. What happened was crazy amounts of Luna was minted. When you minting that amount of Luna, if you go back and study, that then the price of luna cannot be sustainable the trading is basically demand and supply and the circulating supply of luna went absolutely crazy it was so high that it was not possible uh, the supply of luna was so high the price had a huge dump and that is what you saw in this uh, in this instance so again i'll go in a lot more detail on how it actually happened so in normal conditions investors can exploit deviating prices for example too much demand for USD may result in its price topping uh, at one dollar. That means traders can convert one dollar's worth of Luna into USD and pocket the difference. So that is how it should work. But in terms of high volatility, the above stabilizer might not be sufficient, and that is how the death spiral could happen. There have been multiple instances where USD has decoupled from its one dollar peg, raising concerns about the viability of its economic model, particularly in a situation when several people try to redeem their token at once. The latest challenge uh, arrived over the weekend hundreds of millions of usd were sold on anchor terrace flagship lending platform as well as curve and binance resulting in accusations of a coordinated attack on stablecoin again i'm not going to speculate as much if you go watch this video i do a lot more speculation i want to keep this uh, video a bit more structured and 
more factual but there are rumors of huge hedge funds dumping on i don't think there are some proofs as well but you know it was definitely a coordinated attack if you look at the amount of luna that was being sold on anchor curve and binance it was definitely a coordinated attack and once there's a huge amount of selling happens the, the mechanism of how Luna USD is meant to work doesn't work because people start fearing if you guys remember I might watch my uh, live video I went on a complete live stream and I talked about ex exiting Luna the Luna was just breaking below $50 and uh, USD was around 94 that is when I exited I couldn't save myself from one liquidation on mirror protocol but that was you know my losses so like myself people get scared when they see the peg not working huge amount of being dumped that's when uh, there is a concern for death spiral and this is where we could actually blame Terra and Duquan because they they all knew about this risk and they also Duquan not only knew about this risk he was basically challenging and being very cocky he was challenging huge people with you know crazy amounts of money telling them that oh they were like you know egging them on saying we are invincible you can't attack it and it was quite stupid of it. You shouldn't really show your hands. It's like in a poker table. You show that you haven't got, you, you've got two, I don't know, two pairs of eights. And, and then you're being very cocky that you're going to win. And, and that's basically what happened. He was he was really cocky. And he was still saying, I think there was a tweet saying, hold on, lot. Uh, we, you know, we're getting more collateral. Are we buying more Bitcoin? And in the, they, they tried to uh, address this concern and the sustainability of the stable coin by building uh, Bitcoin. But these uh, whales, they already knew how much Bitcoin they owned. And they kept dumping it and waited for them to run out of Bitcoin. And when that happened, that's when it just, you know, it just didn't work. In the case of more stable algo coins, we've seen the teams behind the project usually need to step in. So they're not really decentralized and managed independently. There's also other rumors, again, uh, he was part of a project that failed before. He didn't disclose that. There's lots of other dirty, ugly rumors about uh, Luna and Doquan, which you can study. So while U USD has been central narrative, this is the next part. Again, you can, if you want to read more about it, read the Terra documents. And this is the new Terra chain that they've proposed. This is a proposal. And so a lot of the information that I've got is from here as well. So you can go read it yourself. So whilst USD has been the central narrative to Terra's growth over the last year, distribution of USD has led to the development of one of the strongest developer ecosystem in crypto and in my opinion this is why i was invested you know, luna was i'm mainly a trader i'm always like trading in and out luna was one of the first cryptocurrencies where i actually got involved with the project you saw me talking about DeFi strategies and it was five dollars you can you know that's how my twitter grew so much and my YouTube, I started sharing buy signals. And this is the reason why I was so bullish because I know demand, how demand and supply works. And the amount of, as long as UST demand kept going up, and you can go watch this video that I explain why I was bullish and why I started selling when the amount of lunar supply. So initially more Luna was being burnt. And then if you look at the last few days, there was a huge amount that was minted. That, that was the exit signal for me. And um, that was the value that is the reason why I invested in Luna and why I was bullish Luna. But now you've got Terra 2.0 without uh, that burning mechanism of you know minting USD and burning Luna. So that is a really key point for me, and I'll cover at the end and why I think this is the biggest reason why I am not you know looking to invest in Luna. I'll share with you things that I'm looking for before I invest. You know previously Luna 2.0. I'll explain to you why I'm investing. I'll also explain to you in this video what I need to see to invest in again. Again, I'm not telling you invest this is not financial advice i'm just sharing with you what i'm doing and hopefully you use the information to make your decision yourself so terra ecosystem and its community are worth preserving i agree with that terra's app ecosystem cont contains hundreds of developers working on everything on from DeFi to fungible uh, state-of-the-art infrastructure community experience and that is true terra station has a large install base with million users across the world again another very uh, very very truth that almost distressed strong brand recognition and the name that almost everyone in the world will have heard about and again this could be a positive or a negative and i'll, I'll discuss it at the end because they, they have a reputation but it's not the best reputation you know would people trust them again and then i'll let you decide that you know some people say there's no publicity is bad publicity but you'll have to decide that for yourself usd peg failure is terra's dow hack moment a chance to rise up a uh, new from the ashes and again that's a bit up to a and this is why we trust Duquan and one of the reasons would be Duquan whatever we think about him he is a marketing genius he's a creator inventor so you've got to give him credit you know would people trust him with money again so um 
Again, I'll let you decide that, but that is something to consider. So what is this Terra 2.0? So they're creating a new Terra chain without algorithmic stablecoin. The old chain to be called, so this is not a fork, by the way, I think that is a mistake lots of people make. The old chain to be called Terra Classic, Loon C, I'll uh, do price prediction on both of them. The new chain is to be called Terra, uh, which is Luna, the new Luna. Luna to be airdropped across Luna's classic stakers, Luna uh, classic holders, residual USD holders, essential app developers of Terra Classic. The, the tearful address will be removed making Luna completely decentralized I think it will be 90% community owned but also you have to say VC still get a huge share so it's not as decentralized as Bitcoin but that is a positive in my opinion for Luna allocate a large portion of token distribution in providing emergency runaway for existing Terra that uh, DApp developers align interest of devs with long-term success of the ecosystem network security to be incentivized with token inflation targeting staking rewards of seven percent so staking rewards is not as crazy as it used to be i'm not going to read this all uh, i do recommend you take maybe take a screenshot but i wanted to put this slide in if you want the detailed video on how airdrop is going to work i recommend uh, which video it was it's this video this video i talk about the airdrops exchanges that are supporting it and all that good stuff if you go on to their official platform they talk about the um airdrops which exchange is supporting it if you have it if you've got it on a wallet or some DeFi protocols how to get your exchange or potentially get more money from it so uh, go watch that video or take a screenshot of it uh, uh, how much airdrop you should expect to get if you have any questions about the airdrop do comment below i will reply to your comments uh, so my thoughts so uh, there are lots of protocols still supporting it so i think i, I believe these are the platforms that have already commented that they will be supporting Terra 2.0 so that is a positive there's still developers still a good community with the project so that is something I like I, I like about the project so just sharing with you that yeah, that is a positive Terra 2.0 is on Cosmos so Cosmos there's still things that Atom or Cosmos don't have you know clusters options lending borrowing so Terra 2.0 could be the heart of the Atom or Cosmos ecosystem with all these benefits so that is another positive for uh, you know potentially for Terra uh, it's more decent it's more decentralized in so, uh, so uh, uh, AVAX, so that's not. It's more decentralized than so AVAX ADA, so that is another positive uh, for Luna. And you know, we talk about decentralizations. Lots of the cryptocurrencies is not really decentralized, so that is again a very very bullish. And finally, again, I, I did say Bitcoin has no VCs, no foundations. I'm not comparing Bitcoin to Luna. Bitcoin and Ethereum are the only two coins that I just blindly buy. I did get into Luna and I explained to you the reasons why. But uh, Bitcoin and Luna, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are the only two coins. But you know, I think Luna is definitely a lot more decentralized because of what has happened. Uh, and finally, and I think this is the only thing that you can bet against, you know, these are even I've made this point here, but even then you can't really say that they're really bullish or that you're going to be happy with it. At the end of the day, guys, if you are putting money into Luna, you're basically trusting what Luna is saying. So you're basically trusting the developers and community. Are you, do you trust uh, that they're going to deliver? Uh, and th these developers, Duquan, do you trust in them? They have an amazing community, amazing uh, list of builders, uh, developers, and Duquan's marketing genius. Could they use that to deliver something very special? That is what we are betting on. If they can, amazing. There could be something in the future, but there are still negatives. You know, Terra DeFi 2.0, what is going to be the new Terra 2.0's anchor protocol? What is going to bring value to the to the ecosystem, to Luna? So there's a lot of question mark about that. Uncertain future, we don't know what we're investing in. If you look at the market cap uh, for Luna, the market cap is already quite high uh, for Luna. It's in the, to in the top 3,000. What does it, what gives this value? What is, why is this market cap high? So that is something for you to decide. No one can tell you to buy or sell i don't have the answers to this question and i'm not going to put my hard-earned money if i don't have the answers to this so this, finally this is a question to ask yourself do you believe they'll create something if you do uh, you can bet at these cheap prices and it could be wildly profitable for you so you know i didn't bet on bitcoin in 2013 i didn't know about it and i bet on 2017 the price was still high but i was still early so the earlier you bet on something is higher risk higher reward but you are taking a lot lot higher risk so for me, I 
mainly just believe in Bitcoin, and Ethereum, and, and that's what I'm going to do. There are, you know, small amounts of Cardano that I own from less than 10 cents and some Sol and all these coins that I talk about. They're more trading point of view. You know, I got in really early. I'm just letting things run or holding. Again, if you are interested more in my trading strategies, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do a live stream every Sunday. And also there's a Rockstar trading group. If you want to take your trading to the next level, I'll leave the links below if you are interested. But for me, I'm more of a trader. I want to get in and out. I, do, I can't quantify my risk buying Luna now, so I am personally going to stay away from it. So, um, so would you like to see Luna deliver first? I would like to see Luna deliver first. So, if if I see Luna, you know, making developments, have amazing apps and people coming into a value crawl, something like Anchor or Protocol, Mirror Pro, something like that, then yes, I'll get in. I might, I won't be able to buy Luna at the price that is. I'll have to buy Luna a bit higher, but that is gonna help me risk define the first thing i teach on my course is risk uh, management and psychology i would have risk management i look for a trade setup same as five dollars the way i bought it i had a bullish thesis uh, i'm making i'm saying thesis to make myself sound smarter but you know i had a, a reason to buy i had my stop loss below there um, and then i got in around five dollars and that was basically my trade below there i'd, I'd look to sell i'll exit and if i can let it run uh, that could be a life-changing trade. So I will use similar strategies to look to buy Luna if it does happen. So that is basically my thoughts. Uh, that is my plan. I want to see more developments. I want to see progression. I want to see them actually, you know, the new team or new... Because at the moment, Luna is nothing apart from some group of developers and uh, a community. If they can deliver on it, great. I'll look to invest and put my hard-earned money. I'll look to trade it as well. So let's come back to technical analysis and price prediction now. So I'll start off with Luna C, if you guys don't mind. So Luna C has launched on Binance. So I can do the technical analysis there. There's not too much charts for me to analyze uh, Luna. But what I will say is uh, when new tokens launch, and I'll, I'll, I did a quick video on it. You can check it yesterday. When new token launch, you have to be really careful and you have to draw a floor. For me, I'll use this as a guideline and it doesn't mean anything on the five minute time frame. But if Luna starts breaking below and in a downtrend, unless i see a lot of strength and by that i mean something like this and trend change in the hourly four hourly the daily time frames that's when i'll get bullish if not i am going to stay away from it especially if you're buying a hodling when we see a dump and trend change please don't hold because the price could go a lot lower than you can expect and it could keep dumping keep dumping and uh, trust me you don't want to hold and the other point is about um uh, Luna, the new Luna, the new Luna. There's a video on my channel. Did this price go to 15? What's the highest this price went? So the, on Hubi it didn't. You can go watch that video. I p talked about selling Luna. I said 30 dollars, but I think the Luna price was at 15 when I uh, released that video. By the time I could release that video, it takes time to record. And again, that video I just literally record and talk to talk and just get that video out this video i've got a, a bit more planned and it takes a lot of time if you are interested in you know live updates and how i'm trading you can check the rocks to trading group there's a couple of trades that we're taking and it, this is a nice time to be hitting profits if bitcoin move up this is a trade i shared on the this is actually shared on the youtube live stream so people talk do i share live trades you watch this video this is a gala trade I share, egld trade that i shared and the other trade i've shared ethereum that could be hitting target as well. That was in the Rockstar Trading Group. You can see the post I made. I'm buying here and then it hit target. So if you are interested in that, I'll, I'll left the links below for you to check out. So for, for Luna Point of View, I did make a video and say sell because you want to see more structure and co give you confidence to buy. And uh, what I will say is, guys, if we do see a huge breakdown, then please, please don't hold because you could, like I said, get burnt. So the zone that I have got, again, is $5. If new Luna starts breaking below here, if you're holding... I would not hold and I would be really scared. So if Luna does start breaking below this zone, please just get out. Don't hold. Uh, and uh, what you can do is, so let's say it breaks down, you sell. If it starts getting back above, yeah, buy it. But for now, if it does hold, keep this zone in mind. I talked about my big zone at $5 using that zone helped us risk define. I would use the same zone to keep myself risk defined. Uh, for buying longs, I'm not interested in buying at the moment. I want to see a lot more structure. So what I would see, what I would like to long Luna, uh, let me actually get rid of this line. So that is that would be my um, risk management and invalidation. And I'll draw the invalidation again for you. But what I would like to see is guys, uh, just chop here, hold this support level and then trend change. If I see that happening, and this is the logarithmic chart, so you can see how the, the price potential for Luna to go up. If I see something like that, then yes, I'll be interested in buying Luna. I'll again use that as a, my stop. 
and then try to ride Luna however far it goes. You know, 23, 24 could be the next big zone. This was potential support for a bit before when the huge jump happened. I look to potentially get in around there. So that is the video, guys. Uh, hopefully you find it useful. If you have any questions, guys, comment below. Uh, if you do enjoy this type of content, do hit that like button. And like I said, Luna has been you know, life changing for me. Hopefully, you know, some of the members in our group and some YouTubers, so uh, YouTube followers, it hopefully has helped you as well. So if you do want me to carry on making Luna Terra 2.0, content do hit that like button and subscribe and before i end the video i do a live stream every sunday where i share live trades my thoughts and uh, how i'm trading it uh, so do subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button you can check out the rockta trading group if you want to take take your trade to the next level and all that good stuff but only ask from, from what myself is if you do enjoy this content do hit that like button it really helps us out and doesn't cost you anything so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much